Auzubillahimineşşeytanirracim Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Today we are going to start the lesson number 8 of Medina Bogodro Sulogat al So previously you have learnt that Haza Kitabun means this is a book and it is a complete sentence So Kitabun means a book You also know from previous lessons that Al kitabu mean the book. Al kitabu mean the book. This term mean mean a. So how al kitabu? This is a book. This term mean makes it a complete sentence. Here we don't have term mean. So this mean we don't have any word to represent the meaning of a here. So when we say how al mean this and al kitab mean the book. How al kitab this book? It is not a complete sentence. To make, a, to make it a complete sentence, we need a predicate. We need a khabar here. So remember, <coughs> this, part, this phrase, Haz al-Kitabu, this book is not a complete sentence. To make it a complete sentence, we need a predicate. We need a khabar. So we add the word jadid. Haz al-Kitabu jadid. This book is new. In this way, it becomes a complete sentence. So all demonstrative pronouns can be used to make such type of sentence in which we give some news about a definite noun. We give some news about a modifier noun. Al-Rajulu, Asa, al mumarida You see all of them as Al. So this means they all are Marifa, definite. But in these simple sentences, these are nakira noun. This is a book. We are use it for a common thing, indefinite thing, and we use this type of uh, construction for malifa, definite thing. Previously, you have learnt that the normal ending of a ism, normal ending of a ism is the ma. Normal ending of an ism is Dhamma and you also learnt that it changes to Kasra after Harfejar. It changes to Kasra after Harfejar or when the Isam is Muzaf Ilaihi. When the Isam is Muzaf Ilaihi, then also Dhamma changes into Kasra. So here you see normal ending is Dhamma. And when we have harfejar, it becomes kasra. And when the ism is possessor, when the ism is muzafile, the dhamma also changes into kasra. But here you are going to learn that those ism who are ending with alif madda, those ism which are ending with alif madda, they don't accept any dhamma or kasra with them. So they have no ending, they remain unchanged. So you see, according to the rule, this word should have the mahir, but this word has long madda, so it will not accept any the mahir, it will remain unchanged. Haz Amrika. Now you see Harfijar here, Harfijar gives kasra to the next word, but this word has alif madda at the end, so it will not accept any kasra. Now you see America is Muzaf Ilehi here. In this sentence the word America is Muzaf Ilehi. But the America has Ali Madda. So it will not accept any Kasra. It will remain in its original form. So in this point you have learnt that when any word has Ali Madda. It does not accept any ending. It does not accept Dhamma. It does not accept Kasra. It remains in its original form. Next we have the meaning of Khalfa and Amama. These two words act as Muzaf. So the rules of Muzaf will be applied on them. And the next word will automatically become Muzaf Ilaihi. So the next word will have Kasra with it. So you see Khalfa is acting like Muzaf. So Masjid become Muzaf Ilaihi Majroor. Amama is acting like Muzaf. So it become Majroor. Because it is Muzafile with its 
back to this word meaning of amama is behind and amam sorry me meaning of khalfa is behind and amama is in front of you need to memorize this meaning then you have the verb jalasa which mean he said so jalasa is or mean jalasa mean he said you need to run this also so you need to read this whole page you can pause the video and read it you also need to read this page until here you can pause the video and read it completely carefully try to memorize all these points then you have some vocabulary pause the video read the vocabulary memorize the vocabulary and this sign or this letter is called alif maksura and it is pronounced as alif difference between this and ya is this that this does not has any dots and ya has two dots so this sign is called ali maksura it is not ya adasu samin third eighth lesson hazar rajulu tajir this man is a merchant wazalikar rajulu tabib and that man is a doctor ism tajiri mahmud name of the merchant is mahmud wasmut tabibi said and the name of the doctor is said hazal baitu lit tajir this house belongs to the merchant wazalikal baitu lit tabib and that house belongs to the doctor Baitu Tajiri Amam Al Masjid, house of the merchant, is in front of the masjid. Wa Baitu Tabibi, and the house of the doctor, Khalf Al Madrasa, is behind the school. Liman Hazi His Sayara, Wa Liman Tilka, to whom Liman mean to whom belongs. This car and to whom belong that? To whom belong this car and to whom belong that? Hazi his sayara to let the baby watilka let tajir. This car belongs to the doctor and that belongs to the merchant. Hazi his sayara to minal yaban. This car is from Japan. And that is from America. Tamarin Ajib Tamarin exercises Ajib Anila Silatilati answer the following questions. So you will answer them according to the lesson. Man Hazar Rajulu, who is this man? Man Zalika Rajulu, and who is that man? So you will say Hazar Rajulu Tajir, Wazalika Rajulu Tabib. This man is a merchant, and that man is a doctor. Masmut Tajiri, what is the name of the merchant? So you will say Ismut Tajiri Mahmud. Name of the merchant is Mahmud. Masmut Tabibi, what is the name of doctor? Ismut Tabibi Said. Name of the doctor is Said. There is no wa in the answer. Minaina Sayaratu Tabib, from where is the car of the doctor? So you will say with respect to this sentence that you will say Sayara Tut Tabibi Minal Yaban Sayara Tut Tabibi Minal Yaban In this way you will write their answers as your homework Ikra Waktu Bhi is asking you to write the uh, read and write these sentences Hazal Waladu Khalid Wazalikal Waladu Muhammad This boy is Khalid and that boy is Muhammad Hazar Rajulu Mudaris Wazali Kar Rajulu Mohandis. This man is my doctor and that man is an engineer. Hazal Kitabu Jadid. This book is new. Wazali Kal Kitabu Kadim and that book is old. Hazi His Sayaratu Li Ali Watil Kali Khalid. This car belongs to Ali. And that belongs to Khalid. Hazal Babu Maftu. This door is open. Wazalikal Babu Mughalak. 
and that door is closed we use this type of sentence structure when we are talking about some specific thing some definite thing liman has his saa to whom belong this watch he ya liya bas it belongs to abbas ahaz al baytu lit tabib does this house belongs to the doctor la huwa lil mudarris no it belongs to the teacher ahazihi darajatu libn al muazzin does this bicycle belongs to the son of muazzin naam yes man hazal walad who is this boy who wa talib min al sin he is a student from china azalik al baytu jadid is that house new la huwa qadim jiddan no it is very old hazihi sayyaratu min al yaban this car is from japan wa tilka min america and that is from america haza sikinu min almania wa tilka al millakatu min inkaltra this knife is from germany and that knife is from england اقرئ المثال الاتي ثم هول الجمل الاتي مثله read the following example then convert the following sentences like it haza kitabun this is a book this is a we are talking about some indefinite thing but this time we are talking about a specific book haza al kitabu li muhammad this book belongs to muhammad so when we talk about specific thing we add al to it haza tabib this is a doctor haza tabibu min al hin this doctor is from india so here you are going to add alif lam to tabib because we are making it definite hazihi sayyara this is a car so again you will add alif lam hazihi sayyara tu lil mudiri this car belongs to the headmaster zalika walad that is a boy again you will add alif lam zalikal waladu zalikal waladub nul mudaris that boy is the son of the teacher this way you can do it so you will write the answers of all these sentences here then ikra al misal al ati read the following example summa kawin asilatan wa ajwibatan mislahu then make questions and answer like it so again we are asking about some specific things so you need to add al the man has al kitab to whom belong this book hazal kitabu li muhammad this book belongs to muhammad so here you will add al to kalam liman hazal kalam to whom belong this pen hazal kalamu li abbas this pen belongs to abbas liman hazal mifta to whom belong this key haz haz al miftah li ali this key belongs to ali liman hazi his sayyara this is shamsi roof so i am keeping it silent silent lam is silent liman hazi his sayyara hazi his sayyara to lil mudiri so when we add li here alif will be deleted lil mudiri again liman hazihi al bakaratu hazihi al bakaratu lil fallahi so alif in be deleted when we add li in this way you will write your answers here ta'amal al amsilat al atiya observe the following examples in the grammar section i told you that those words which have alif at their end they don't accept any dhamma or kasra no matter whether they are muzaffile whether they have arfi jar with them or whether they are normal they will not accept the maur kasra so you see 
Al Mustashfa, America, Almani, all of them has Alif. So they are not accepting Kasra. But this Bait is a normal word. So normally it has Dhamma. And when it has Arfizar, it has Kasra with it. This doctor is from England. Zahaba Hamid la Firanza. Hamid went to France. Mahmoudun Mariz. Mahmoud is sick. Who will honor with Mustashfa? He at the moment is in the hospital. Zahaba Abdullah min Almania ila in Kaltara. Abdullah went from Germany to England. Hazal Kitabu li Isa wa Zalikal Kitabu li Musa. This book belongs to Isa and that book belongs to Musa. Hazal Muhandiso min America. This engineer is from America. So you see, those words which have Alif, they are not accepting any Kasra or any Dhamma. Now you will learn the meaning of Amama and Khalfa. So next word will be Majroor. Any word which follow Amama or Khalfa will always be Majroor. As-Saburatu Amama Talibi Wahiyya Khalf Al-Mudaris The board is in front of the student and it is behind the teacher. Aina Sayyaratu Al-Mudarisi Siyya Amama Al-Madrasat Siti So because of Amama Madrasa is Majroor. Where is the car of the teacher? It is in front of the school. Aina Baitul Amama Aina Baitul Imam Where is the house of Imam? Baitul Imam Khalf al Masjid House of the Imam is behind the Masjid So Imama and Amama are separate words Their meanings are different The words are different Aina Jalasa Hamid Where did Hamid sat? Where did Hamid sit? Jalasa Khalf al Mahmud He sat behind Mahmud ذهب أمار إلى المسجد وجلس أمام المهراب أمار went to the masjid and he sat in front of the mihrab then الكلمات الجديدة you need to write their meanings here this is also your homework so next we have lesson number 9 we have 17 minutes already I think we better start the next lesson next time inshallah it will be good for you to start it next time so whatever we have studied today you will upload it to the homework number five in google classroom whatever is written here ignore it just upload your homework to this homework number five after uploading it <coughs> inform me on my whatsapp then I will send you the next lecture also inshallah and you can also ask me questions if you don't understand anything feel free to ask me Ma salama.